because it's me, your favorite sick YouTuber. Okay, this is getting a little out of hand. Whoever got me sick, I want you to know, because you cough like, <coughs> and not, <coughs> I have suffered for two whole months. Every single day, I wake up. It takes 20 minutes for me to decongest all the phlegm out of my throat and nose. Just go to the doctor. I'm the type of person that never goes to the doctor, but you know what? I think it's time. And like right now, it's happening again where I just get so congested. Help me. But anyways, today I have a sick video for you today. The bad kind of sick. We have this dude who lives in Japan who is dating a cockroach. Fave goth GF. なあ。Why do I even have a headphone in? I can't even understand that. I'm reading the subtitles. So the lady interviewing him was like, I heard a rumor once that you actually banged a cockroach. <laughs> Damn, bro, how you managed to do that? So like <laughs> Actually, he never did it with a cockroach. First of all, the size doesn't fit. <laughs> Whoa, there, you get a little too descriptive. I mean, she asked the question, but like, do we really need to know that? It reminds me of that picture of the hamster eating a banana. It's like, we as human beings and reasonable people know the size doesn't fit. It's a cockroach. I feel like that's somehow the least of your concerns when talking about doing the dirty with a cockroach. Maybe I shouldn't put it that way because all of us want to do the dirty with a cockroach. We want to kill it! But this dude talking about another dirty, okay? I think that rumor got mixed up with the fact that I once dated a cockroach. But dude, he just has such immense love for insects, which you will later see. And to prove his love, he dated one of the most despicable creatures in this world. Were you able to communicate with the cockroach? It could have been only my imagination since I got too attached over time. But I started to feel as if we were communicating. Her name is Lisa. Her name is Lisa. Lisa. Lisa the cockroach got a whole human man's and some of y'all can't even get a text back. <laughs> This is for real. This is real life. Over here we have Lisa eating a lychee. Lychee. Leche. With Lisa, it was about one year. After all, it was breakup by death in her case. <laughs> Sorry, Lisa. I can't date you anymore if you're dead. Her lifespan was very short. So the day she passed away was difficult. But I knew it had to come. Since she was a cockroach with a short lifespan. Why does this remind me of that Spongebob episode? Where Squidward thought Spongebob was gonna die. Like he only had one day left to live. Live. With that in mind, I ate her in reverence. What? He ate Lisa. Lisa the cockroach GF eaten. So now Lisa lives in my heart and continues living as a part of my body. Okay, I can't be the only one weirded out by this. Hit that like button if you are just as weirded out as I am. My dude got a cockroach GF. We spent a lovely year together. She died. I ate her. I consumed her strength. Cockroaches have an image of being contaminated with bacteria. Is it okay to eat? People often say house cockroaches are filthy and untouchable. That's because they're in filthy environments behind trash bins. Or in the sink where there's food waste. And those places are definitely full of bacteria. So cockroaches contract those bacteria. Also, they're likely to have insecticide left in their bodies. That's why they're known to be harmful to us. But the one I dated wasn't a wild cockroach. She wasn't like the rest of them. She ain't like those dirty, nasty, crusty, musty heathens you find under your cow in your basement, in your attic. No! Lisa was different. It was farm raised, imported from overseas. She was from Africa. You bought Lisa? Yes, I did. <laughs> it just keeps getting weirder and weirder. It's like a mail order bride, but a cockroach. He mail ordered a GF, but it's a cockroach. Humans don't understand me. I'm just gonna mm, date a cockroach or something. Hmm. Special order cockroaches from Africa. Oh, she's the one. Oh my God, why didn't they go on 90 Day Fiance? Like she came all the way from Africa to be with him. How serious were you? Well, 100% serious. Meanwhile, you don't date human females? Right, no girl was as attractive as Lisa. Oh, ho, ho, roasted. 
tomated the entire female population decimated by insect dude over here no girl was as attractive as Lisa Lisa is a cockroach <laughs> I feel personally attacked right now imagine hearing your crush say this to you a cockroach is more attractive than you bruh female population zero I see but let's say you have a human ex-girlfriend and your reason for breaking up was that you found a more attractive girl named Lisa then she found out who Lisa was she'd get mad right well I think she'd be beyond speechless yeah imagine dating a dude and then finding out his ex Lisa was a cockroach <laughs> And then you start seeing cockroaches around the house like, who is she? She's prettier than me. No. Fire. No. Jack. What am I supposed to do now, huh? What the f am I supposed to do now? You ruined everything. Oh, this is wild. But this never happened to you. Never. Lisa was my first love. I pictured doing it with her many times with the cockroach. That's right, because I really liked Lisa. Bro, she a cockroach, a bug, she like this big. Bro, this is like not okay. I picture doing it with an insect. I wonder if you like let her crawl around all over him and like, ooh, Lisa, that tickles. Ooh, stop it. <laughs> Oh, you nasty for that. You nasty. But it's impossible. Oh, yes. See, I already have that planned out. I imagined a world where cockroaches are supersized or I become smaller. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is some weird kind of head tie, okay? Like, this is a thing? Is that him on a cockroach suit? Maybe if I dress up like a cockroach, I could attract a female mate. You know what's funny? Is this dude loves insects. He loves them so much that he eats them. Relatable, but with chicken wings. I eat insects twice a week or sometimes I don't eat them at all. Do you eat cicadas by oh cicadas? Oh hell no So he's saying the taste is not bitter or gross. It's actually quite nice. See, your girl has had crickets before and I nearly gagged. It was disgusting. And it wasn't just like any regular crickets. It was like at a really fancy restaurant and they were all like sauteed and seasoned and whatever. I didn't like it, okay? It, it was not good. And when I took a bite, like I could feel, you know, <laughs> you know that? <laughs> when you step on a bug and it's like splats everywhere, that's what it felt like in my mouth. And that's not okay. I was not having a good time, okay? There's no unique taste, so it would be a hit with many people. There are a lot of hairy caterpillars on the cherry blossom. That caterpillar is delicious. <laughs> it tastes like cherry blossom rice cake. Whoa, whoa there. I don't know what kind of cherry blossom rice cake you're having, but I can tell you, ain't no insect is gonna taste like a cherry blossom rice cake, okay? That seems very hard to believe, but I don't know. If you guys have tasted bugs before, and they were bomb AF. I want to know. Comment below. If you haven't, would you try them? After doing it once and not liking it, I, I don't think I would do it again. I mean, this guy raves about it so much, so maybe he could possibly convince me, but otherwise... I so this dude actually has a restaurant where they serve insects. So he creates his own insect dishes from scratch. Wow. Non-GMO organic, gluten-free, just like his girlfriend. Also collaborates with other shops to create new insect dishes. <laughs> why this is so funny but the fact that he just walks into his room and his pet insects that he has in a crate they're thinking it's meal time like oh we gonna get fed but they're the meal just scoops them out puts them in a pot just brings them on back to the kitchen y'all getting cooked tonight look at this absolute savage From farm to table, but this bedroom to plate. So before the interview, they went to a forest and he wanted to show her just how much he loves nature. <laughs> this is the tree that I love. This is the best part. Bro, is he making? <laughs>
This dude is dead ass making out with a tree right now. Hey baby, damn your bark looking mighty fine today. He's like, we gotta keep it PG today cause you know, they're recording us and everything. But come on now, we know what you really do when the cameras are not. <laughs> that poor tree. When I sleep on here, it's heaven. Yeah, I'm sure. Sleep. This is my favorite place. What do you like to do here? I caught wild insects when I was a child. Okay, this is so wholesome. Look at it, he's picking mushrooms, observing trees and plants. So wholesome. But yeah, that's basically it. I wanna know what you guys think. Comment below if you would date <laughs> an insect. What does this world come to? And if you would not, make sure you hit that like button in the face. Humans only. <laughs> and make sure you subscribe, join the wolf pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching, bye guys. Oh, <laughs>